what's going on you guys it's gabby here thank you for clicking on today's video and gabbing with me today so as you can tell by the title i am here to expose the devil's lies today i don't know if it's just me or if it's just quarantine or if it's like social distancing what's going on but i feel like the enemy has been trying to lie to me and i know i can't be the only one so i'm here to expose him today's video five of the biggest lies that the enemy tries to tell single people number one i feel like every single person has heard this from the enemy that they will be single forever what is his deal with trying to get us to believe that we will be single until jesus comes back i believe that the closer we get to the blessings of god the louder the enemy tries to be that's because loudness is a distraction so i believe the enemy's plan is to try to be so loud that we lose faith in what we're already so close to attaining am i as far as the enemy is really trying to make me feel or am i close and that's why he's being so loud the second lie that the enemy tries to tell single people is that they're going to be single because their past mistakes are too big this is such a lie that i have to expose today i don't know anybody in the world who's married who does not have a past you having a past is a part of regular humanity everybody has a past including those who have found a spouse no matter what your past looks like that doesn't disqualify you from the blessings of god as long as you've repented and you've turned away from those things of your past god has a blessing and many blessings with your name on it the third stupid thing <laughs> that the enemy tries to tell single people is that your standards are too high he wants to discourage us so badly again from having any faith by telling us that that man or that woman that you're believing god for just simply doesn't exist good men don't exist good women don't exist are all lies from the enemy to get us to no longer have faith to what we're already so close to having. Good men exist. Good men of God exist. Good women of God exist. And they're closer than we think. Listen, the enemy understands and he knows that if he can get us to rely on logic and human understanding, our faith will decrease. Logic says, I have never met a man like this before, so does he exist? Logic and human thought says, my homegirl kind of lowered her standards, my homeboy kind of lowered his, and they found someone, so maybe that's what I should do. I mean, it makes sense. No, 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 no. Faith does not require human logic. Faith exceeds our logic. Faith exceeds human reasoning. The fourth lie that the enemy tries to tell single people is that we should be more like him or more like her. They found a husband, they found a wife, so be like them and you'll find one too. How stupid can the enemy really be? We know these things, you guys. We know that we are created in his image and his likeness. We know that we're God's masterpiece, that he was intentional when he created us and he created us like him. He's encouraging you to step into who he's created you to be. Step into your calling. Step into your ministry. Step into your passions. When you're so involved and so invested in the things that God has placed in your heart, that's when your king or your queen will find you. And the fifth lie that the enemy tries to tell single people is that God has called you to a life of singleness. The enemy wants you to question, Am I just supposed to be single? I mean, I've went on a couple of dates. I've met a couple people. Nothing has worked out. Is God trying to tell me something? Is it in his will? We never have to ask ourselves what's in the will of God because God has provided us 66 books written out explaining his will. If you're confused or you're unsure about what God's will is, you can find it in his word. I believe that whatever you ask for in prayer, believing you shall receive. I believe we can ask God for the things that we desire in his will and he will give them to us. Don't allow the weight to have you questioning his will. You don't have to question it because it's in his word. 
look for it and find it for yourself it's there i promise you listen i believe in faith i believe that when we release our faith through confession through prayer through fasting god answers it's time to take our faith to the next level and not allow the enemy to use discouragement to rob us of the things that God has for us. Sometimes these distractions and human logic and reasoning can really get the best of us. But the reality is, if we're struggling to find the truth, don't believe the enemy's lie, find the truth in the word of God. I hope this video encouraged you. I hope this video motivated your faith and I hope it pushed you to continue to believe God for the blessings he has for you. Well, that's all that I have for today's video. Make sure to leave a comment down below. I read the comments and it lets me know what you guys think about the video. Also, make sure to like the video by hitting the thumbs up icon. That lets me know that whoever is watching this video liked it and enjoyed it. If you're not already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you never miss a video. Also, follow me on social media at Gavin with Gabby. I'm super close to 500 Instagram followers, so I would love if you follow me there. Also, my sister Essence is launching a YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel will be in the description below. Make sure that you click that link and subscribe to her channel as well. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video.